So welcome, Matt, to our Chaos Value Working Group meeting on Friday, December 6, 2019. Just the two of us today. Looks like maybe someone joins, but it's five after, so let's get started. Um, mm -hmm. I remember you had an action item. It looks like the latest action items are for Andy. Yeah. Didn't you want to create a pull request for a metric? I think I think that one might have been risk, and I've done that one. Okay. I'm looking for it. We wanted to do the labor investment um, metric. Of course, we didn't record the action item. Okay. I thought we had a metric. Let, let's go to our um, the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet, yeah. So it looks like job opportunities is almost ready. That's the one where, oh, we noticed the one who wanted to do this. OK. So, but since we are on right now, we can do it real quick. Yeah. If you can share that Google Doc or wherever it's being worked on. Yeah. Are you in the minutes? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Um, oh, I see. Oh, my bad. Oh, it's not up for that metric, though. Yeah. Here, that's, I put the link to the job opportunities. It's issue 43. Okay. And from there, we have a link to our Google Doc. And that has a link to the doc. OK. Oh, I remember working on this one. Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty API based, right? Ah, uh, it looks like John added. Uh, So let's go through real quick, make sure it's clean, and then we can we can uh, create a pull request. Okay. This is following the old format. This oh, is kind okay. of between. Then we should update that, yeah.
Okay. Let's see, we have job opportunities, description, objectives, implementation, resources. That's the new format, right? Yeah, it looks like it follows the new format now to me. Because we don't have any visualizations or tools providing the metric at this time, so it follows everything else. Yeah, I'm opening the template right now. We call it not resources, but references. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I skipped that one. Sorry. Yeah. It's still called resources in some, so that might be something to bring up, too. Well, you can just open pull requests and get them all. Changed. Yeah. So I'm just going through editing the text where I see interesting. I feel like these are kind of conflicting um, between the the part where the metric can be extended by looking at this, and also um, it says the metric can be extended by searching. <clears throat> Here, this is almost a visualization. Oh, don't worry about the formatting. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Marked out anyway. I'm just using the standard. Um, formatting. Yeah. I feel like we can take the things from this paragraph I've highlighted here and um, move all the parts over to this um, section where it's got the bullet points. So I think there are different things. Yeah? 
Um, the metric can be extended by looking at salary ranges, level of seniority, and so on. Those mm -hmm. are different views that you can put on the data. Okay. Whereas the second sentence there, it is changing the metric fundamentally. Okay. So the top one is looking at different parts of the same data set, and this one is changing the data set. Okay. So, um, I would almost remove this. Okay. Unless you think there's something in here that we should keep. I mean, just something about mentioning the skills without saying that was extending the metric. Um, some other way to list them in bullet points, I think, would make it cleaner. Yeah, about yeah there we go. Notes. about that here I added a note at the bottom okay that works yeah this looks good to me yeah we just need to battle with the formatting here real quick Okay. You want to create the pull request? Sure, I'll go ahead and do that now. Sweet. Oh, you know, there is a uh, pull request already. Oh, there is? Yeah. So should we, are well, we able to edit that? We should create a new one. This existing pull request has, does not have the proper DCO sign off. Okay. I'll make sure to do that then. <laughs> I think that was something someone was having trouble with not too long ago with that pull request. Oh, 
Huh. Interesting. Job opportunities already exist as a metric. Huh. If you need to update it. Oh, I'll just do that then. Yeah. My bad. I just created the pull request. <laughs> What what did you name it? Where did you place it? Uh, I I put it in the same folder. I just didn't capitalize it. Um, um, so I will I will undo that pull request. <laughs> undo the pull request and then rename the file to not be capitalized. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we also need to link to it from the. Um, from the focus area. Okay, so I'm just going to in my patch branch thing that I'm going to, I'm going to just remove the other one. Uh, I think it might be easier. No, actually, I can just see this here. Okay, I think the pull request is ready. I'll we'll have to Job opportunity. Um, I'm just gonna. Are you opening a or creating a second um, commit in the same branch? Yeah, where I deleted the old version. It's in the pull request now. Oh, you updated the pull request? Yeah. I'm, no, I was thinking about um, adding a link from the focus area to this metric. Oh, to, on top of all this? Well, we have the focus area and the table there. We need to link to this. Oh, yes, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I think, yeah, it works now. Okay, that's in the pull request. Okay, I also changed um, the format of the file a little bit, adding some empty lines. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you move the job opportunities up in the list? Sure. So that we have all the completed metrics at the top. And then can you also use a relative link, not an absolute URL? Uh, can do you think you might be able to do that? I'm not sure how to do that. Um, uh, you just remove the whole thing um, before the file name. 
So HTTPS until job job opportunities. Just remove all that. So just job opportunities at MD. Yep. Okay. Cool. And that way, um, because right now, if you look at it, it has my brother in there, and so if oh, we yeah. in our chaos repo, then it still will point back to an old version in your repo. And if you delete yeah. branch patch one, then the file is also gone. That's why I said use the relative link. Yeah. So it links within the same repo. You can't look for the right Well, I'm learning a lot of markdown today. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, that yeah, that works too. Okay. Perfect. You moved it up and point to the file. Sweet. Looks like you have a empty line now in line twelve. Wow. Breaking the table. Yes. Um. Oh, I see. I don't know that empty lines would do that. So let's um. Okay, that works. Did you update the pull request? Yeah. All right. No, it's not showing. Huh. Uh, I just committed it, and it said that I had committed since. Weird. Did you commit it to the right branch, the patch yeah, one? Yeah, um, I thought so. So I'm going to go back to patch one. Yeah, I, that's on patch one. Mm. Um, last... Let me do it again. I think I might have actually used a cache value of some sort. The last commit I see is fix link and move drop opportunities up in the list. That's super strange. It's, it must be that it had cached what I was working on, um, and I went back to it, and it, I don't know. Are you pushing it from local, or are you working in the GitHub repo interface? I'm doing it on the GitHub repo. OK. And then while you're at it, um, it looks like um, the link that L1 link is also um, absolute. Yes. Can you fix that while we're at it? Just um, exactly like what you did for job opportunities. Use round brackets instead of square brackets and pull the name of the file up. For which one? The organizational project skill demand. Oh, yeah. Weird. OK. Um... So I, I'll take care of it just now. It's got an underline. What do you mean has an underline? Uh, I'll, I'll let you look at it too. Um, I think I might just be in my editor. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Or you could share your screen. <laughs> I mean, that would be even faster. 
Uh, I'm just committing it right now. Oh. oh, never mind. It was just in my editor for some reason that it was something that was changed. Okay. Yep. Looks good. Thank you for fixing that. Yeah. I'm glad oh. to help with that. You know, number of forks is something that we have in risk. Uh, I'm not sure if it's implemented directly as a metric right now, but that's something that we can measure with Augur. What can we measure with Augur? Uh, the number of forks. So uh, if you go on Augur's website, it'll have that in the risk page. Number of forks, yeah. Okay. So let's see, this was issue 43, right? And then I yeah. said click this issue 43, and then it should automatically close um, when you merge it. Okay. Now let's wash merge it. Um, Confirm squash and merged. Done. Sweet. So that is under um, job opportunities. So I can go ahead and put that as release. Uh, no, ready? Yep. Sweet, we have two metrics ready then. Two ready. Excellent. Um, let's take a look at the others and see if we can get them ready as well. Okay, which one are we looking at? Let's do project velocity next. Okay, it looks like it's, oh yeah, never mind. I was saying it's released, but it can still be worked on. <laughs> Yeah, the question is whether um, whether we have it in the new Yeah, it is in the new one. Template. Project velocity. Is it called resources or references? I always forget. It is references. We need to change that. Okay. So that's one of the ones that, okay. But that's, I think, the only change. Okay. Are you making that change? Um, I can put a pull request in where you can just change it quickly. Well, I can also create a pull request. Okay, I'll create a pull request. It's references. Yeah. Okay. Well, here I'll put in the chat the template that I look at. That's actually really um really helpful because I've been looking at one of Kevin's um comments on an issue for the template for a while now, <laughs> and um, a, a closed issue. Well, we actually have a master template. I'd like to see that sometime. I just posted in the chat. Okay, cool. So, your wish is my command. <laughs> and I'll start looking at the Next one, the labor investment metric. Again, same thing, we just need to call it references.
There's a velocity file in here, but I don't think it's... Oh, never mind, it's just a picture. Oh, this... Wow. I'm going to change that. So is there anything that needs to be changed other than the resources to references on the um, on the labor investment metric? On the labor investment? Yeah. Oh, I'm changing the URLs at the bottom. Okay. Because there are Google searches that both uh, <laughs> Yeah. And I don't think that's the best way to do it. So I'm resolving the now. Okay, I'm creating a pull request. Project Velocity looks almost ready, or it looks ready to me. Isn't that the one you were just creating a pull request for? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I created the pull request for labor investment. You can take a look at that and I'll take a look at project and off with you. Okay. Yep. Simple enough. Yeah, it looks good to me. Good. Do you have permission to approve it? No. Can you just write in it that you approve? I said LGTM, I approve. Just LGTM is good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Perfect, merging. Okay, two more metrics ready for release. So there's a currency metric system. This is the only one I see. Well, I'm updating labor investment to say ready, and I say okay. velocity ready. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. And then let's take a look at organizational projects build demand to see if we can get that ready. Okay. Do you know what uh, focus area? Ecosystem value. Oh, no, no. We're living wage. Okay. Resources change into references and then remove the empty reference implementation section. Yes. A and, lot of screenshots. Yeah, and we need to change some of the headings. I'm going to add links to the Augur um, live site for the examples. Yeah, this is not. Uh, this is still the old template, so we need to actually change the template. You can go into references. Um, okay, let's open a Google Doc so we yeah. can because there are several things that need to be changed. Okay, I was about to ask about that. Yeah. Um, what's the name of this metric? Organizational Project Skill Demand. Okay, I'm just looking at the old issues um, that we have. Okay. Can they release comments? No, no, no. Um, 
don't think we have a Google Doc for that. Okay, I'll create a new Google Doc. Doc.new, enter. Shareable link. Anyone with link can edit. And I'm posting the link in our notes. In the minutes document is where I put the Google. Oh, okay. I was waiting for <laughs> waiting in the chat here. Chat. Okay. I don't know if we have React JS anymore. I can find another example. We don't actually have a section for examples. That would be under references, right? would be tools providing the metric, I think. Oh, yeah, that's true. There. And then what you're writing here looks like it's for auger. Yeah. I don't have salt stack anymore either. So cloud stack will do. Does this text make sense? What what I have here? Augur for dependencies as an API endpoint. Test schema. Um
and set up a test schema, would it make sense to say example is available for multiple repositories? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you mean by auger for dependencies as an API endpoint. I don't either. <laughs> Stack overflow developer server in your project ranking. Okay. There, I think we cleaned it up. Yeah. Kind of looks good to me. Okay, I'll put it back in where it came from. Are you updating and just um, committing it? Uh, no, I just created a pull request. Okay. So you can go and take a look at the pull request now. Yeah, it looks good to me. I'll put it in the comments. Perfect. Thank you. And merge. Now we can go back to our Google Doc and mark another one ready. The spreadsheet ready. Sweet. Sweet. We got five metrics ready. We got five. Yes. And for today, we got four metrics ready for today. Yes. Oh, you know, we don't actually need that. Oh, okay. Um, it's just there are no Okay. Hey, good job. Yeah. yeah, thank you. You too. Let's uh, end the meeting unless you have anything else. No. Okay, I'm stopping the recording.